It is week seven in the NFL. Welcome to Place Your Bets, presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Maria Marino here, along with John Jastrzemski and a special guest, Connor Rogers of Bleacher Report. We're going to get you ready for all the action with 11 games on the board for Sunday and one on Monday. Buckle up. We begin with best bets, and last week, J.J. got a win as the Colts dismantled the Texans, but took the L with the Bengals showing out against the Lions. Meanwhile, our pal John Hine couldn't repeat with back-to-back 2-0 showings. Instead, he lost as the Raiders beat the Broncos by 10, and the Titans upset the Bills by three points. And since John went 0-2, he didn't want to show his face this week. Hence, Connor is here. But, J.J., why don't you kick us off with your first best bet? Well, Marie, you know, I was thinking about the Audible last week. I'm starting game one with another bad team. My beloved Miami Dolphins. I love it, JJ. When you're looking at it, you're picking a desperate team. I'm doing the same thing with the Colts right now. I think they could steal it. True that. The Colts were good to JJ last week. Maybe they'll keep that up for you, Connor. But it is JJ's turn. So what's your second best bet? Maria, game two, I'm going with a team that I normally fade because they don't like covering a lot of spreads. I'm going to get a little dangerous here. I love the Bucks to cover a huge line this week. Connor with the danger. A pretty big number against the Solid Bears defense, but we are talking about the champs. Let's give some props now. And with so many to choose from, we like to help narrow it down. So, Connor, what is your favorite prop this weekend? You know, I'm kind of shocked at how low this is. It's him against an Eagles run defense. Revenge spot against this former team. Sign me up right now. Revenge game indeed. Stafford facing the team that drafted him first overall back in 2009. And we have plenty more to do here on this show. Coming up, will Sunday be a winning day for New York? If not on the field, then maybe at the sports book. Local action is next. Keep it here. We're back with local action, and the Giants are taking on the Panthers, who are laying the points. Carolina is 3-3 three and three on the field and against the spread. G-Men are 2-4 and four against the spread. Saquon Barkley, Kenny Galladay, and Kadarius Toney were all ruled out on the injured list before the weekend. Connor, the injury saga continues with the Giants, who have yet to win at home this season. The Panthers have lost three straight after winning three straight to open the season. So is this the day they get right? Speaking of the Giants injuries, when you look at it, Maria, the Panthers are in the same place, right? Take the Panthers. Could be at least a lukewarm welcome back to MetLife for Sam Darnold. Now to the Jets and another 1 o'clock start in New England, where the home team is favored. Jets are 1-4 against the spread this season. The Pats not much better at 2-4, but the Jets are 7-14 against the spread, dating back to last season. We know what happened the last time these teams met. Zach Wilson looked in over his head. Connor, do you expect more of a fight from the Jets? I do. I think there'll be more of a fight. Now, does that mean they can hang around? Well, New England lay in the seven. You're right, JJ. The Pats are dying for that win at home. And don't forget, right after we finish up, Steve Gelbs is joined by his crew for Jets pregame live here on SNY. But some injuries to note as we head to break. Raiders tight end Darren Waller is a true game time decision with an ankle injury. Julio Jones is expected to play. As he said, he's optimistic. But Antonio Brown will miss Tampa's game as he was already ruled out. Back with the spread offense next. for the spread offense where we bounce around the NFL and we start in Green Bay the home team favored over Washington and JJ will Aaron Rodgers own them like he did Chicago a week ago well guys I hate number one how public this game has gone and out take the back to your point JJ Washington has the worst record in the league against the spread at this point and to Baltimore we go where the Ravens have yet to lose at home they're favored over the Bengals Connor Joe Burrow has been a lot of fun to watch but does he stand a chance yeah that Burrow to chase connection the spread does not scare me at all because the Ravens are at home Makes a lot of sense. Next up, the Rams are hosting the Lions, who are massive underdogs. Matt Stafford and Jared Goff taking on their old teams. JJ, big number for the Rams to cover. Your thoughts? I'm still laying the lumber. I got burned by the Detroit Lions last week. I just can't take the Lions. No shot. Well, if that wasn't enough for you, we've got another huge spread in the 4 o'clock hour with the undefeated Cardinals hosting the Texans, getting the points. This line is up to 20. Connor, are you comfortable laying all those points? No, this is the most hilarious spread of the year. Houston does just enough to hang around. 
Arizona has covered four straight, but none of those spreads were double digits. Finally, Monday night, the Seahawks host the Saints, who are favored. Geno Smith managed to cover last week. JJ, can he do it again? Yeah, I think the answer to this question is yes. They're going to be right down to the wire in this game. Funny enough, the Jets own the Seahawks' first round pick after the season, so you know the Jets will be locked in on this one. We're not done yet. Still have to ask the guys for their Week 7 locks, which you don't want to miss. We'll be right back. We'll get you out of here with the lock of the day. But first, to recap last week, J.J. thought Cleveland was going to bounce back. Turns out he was a week early. While our buddy John Hine, who's not here to defend himself, lost as the Chargers just didn't show up against the Ravens. They're both 2-4 and four on the season, but J.J. still has more money left from his initial $1,000 budget. And as our special guest, Connor, will get the floor first. Tell us the bet you're most confident in and whether it's one, two, or three stars with each star being worth a hundred bucks well i don't know if i'm going to be invited back because this is not going to be a popular pick we'll the eagles philadelphia freedom all the way around we'll hold you to it jj good luck to all thanks for watching place your bets presented by DraftKings sportsbook for john jastrzemski and connor rogers i'm maria marino stay put because jets pregame is coming up next on sny